Hi, I'm Hala and this is Hannah and today we are going to be talking to you about corsets. Now this is our guide for measuring a corset. A corset is measured in inches relating to the waist measurement. If a corset is a size 26, the waist of the corset will measure 26 inches when the back is fully closed. As corsets are designed to reduce the waist, you will want to purchase a corset that is smaller in the waist than you are. The best place to start is by taking your own measurements. For an overbust corset, measure around the fullest part of your bust, around your actual waist, which is the smallest section of your torso directly under the ribs, where you're naturally at your thinnest, and then around your lower hip, across the low rise, which is where the hip bones meet. If you're tall, you may also like to measure your body from the central cleavage down to the hip bone to ensure your chosen corset will be long enough for you. If you're measuring for an underbust corset, you will want to measure the underbust, the natural waist, and the low rise hip. The length of the corset will be from your central underbust to the central low rise hip. Okay, so let's measure Hannah for her first corset. Okay, so we're gonna go for an overbust for Hannah. So I'm gonna be measuring around the fullest part of her bust, around the natural waist, and around the lower hip. Okay, I'm gonna firstly take the overbust measurement. Okay, it's 36. And the natural waist measurement, which is 28 and a half. And then over the hip bones, which is 36 inches. Now, in order to decide what size corset we should go for with Hannah because she's 28 and a half. Um, she's got that half inch there which could go up a size or down a size. We're going to see how squishy she is. So to do that we're going to pop the waist tape measure around and we're just going to give her a gentle squeeze and when it starts to feel a bit uncomfortable she's going to tell me and that will give me her squeeze factor. So there's your 28 and a half inches. Let me know when it starts to feel uncomfortable. Yep. Okay. So we've got down to 25, which is three and a half inches. Now, as my general rule, when it comes to deciding how far you're going to sink in when you get into your corset, if you reduce by less than four inches, then you want to go for a corset that's around four inches smaller than your own waist. So you're a 28 and a half, so that's 27 and a half, 26, 25, 24 and a half. So we'll go for a 24 inch corset for Hannah. Now, Hannah's not particularly tall, so I'm not going to worry about the length of the corset on her because she should be absolutely fine. But if you are particularly tall or long in the body, there are a couple of additional measurements you may like to take, and that's from the centre bust down to the central hip bones, which will give you the length of the corset down the busk, the part that you do up at the front. If you're especially top heavy as well, Hannah again is wonderfully in proportion and should be absolutely <laughs> perfect for the corset that I've chosen for her. Um, but if you are particularly top heavy, you may want to take from the top of your cup down to the bottom of your hip bone there. Um, those are measurements that you can email over to our customer services. And just to check that that corset that you've chosen is definitely going to fit you. And of course, if it doesn't fit you after you do order, then you can always take advantage of our free returns. So that's my easy guide to measuring for a corset. If your squeeze factor around your waist is less than four inches, then you want to go for a corset that's around four inches smaller than your natural waist. If it's in excess of four inches, then you probably want to go for a corset that's around six inches smaller than your natural waist. I'm Hala, this is Hannah, and that's Love Honey's easy guide to measuring yourself for a corset.